My name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. It's been a little hard to get back into the swing of things. I haven't been wearing much makeup still, but I'm here to do another makeup of interest. If you've seen this before, welcome back. And if this is your first one, welcome. I even have to worry about you with this door. I might have to kill you. Maybe. And I have more viewers than she does. <laughs> That's true. Okay, well maybe not more viewers, but I had more likes on my video. Yeah. <laughs> You're more popular than the main person on this channel. <laughs> it's okay. What was I saying? Oh, if you're new here, <laughs> welcome. What I do when looking at new makeup, I ask myself a couple questions. Is it for me and do I need it? Because not every makeup item out there is for every type of person. Doesn't mean it's a bad makeup product, it's just not for you. And just because something might be for you does not mean that you need it. In my case, I have a lot of different palettes and eyeshadows of colors that I enjoy, but they're pretty similar to one another, so I don't really need any more of those. And I probably didn't need the ones that I already have. So first up on today's list, we have a few things from ColourPop. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the ColourPop Orange You Glad eyeshadow palette. Alright, we all knew this palette was coming, right? I feel like orange is another one of those colors. If, if anyone saw me talk about the uh -huh, Honey palette, the all yellow one. Orange is another one of those colors where if you make it too light or too dark, it's not orange anymore. It's either peach or brown. Like you can have yellow orange or like red orange, or maybe a really muted orange, a really neon orange. But as for variation in value, I feel like it's not there. But anyway, more about this palette in particular. There is some variation, but it's three, well, not even, it's two shimmers, one press glitter, and the rest are mattes. I like shimmers way better than I like mattes. I would want at least an equal amount of shimmers and mattes in there. And I'm really more into peach eyeshadow more than orange eyeshadow. So as tempting as this is, it's very pretty, I do like orange, but I have colors like that, I don't need it, I'm probably not going to wear it that often. I'm going to pass on that one, at least for now. Next is the ColourPop X Becky G Viva Collection. Not interested in the lip products, but the Super Shock Shadows definitely caught my eye. However, I have Super Shock Shadows like those or at least the magenta and the teal. The orange and the bronze color, I don't need. They're not for me. And the last products from ColourPop are the ColourPop X Halo Top Super Shock Shadow Sets. At first glance, these are cute, they're pretty. I like the green, and honestly, I like the strawberry tones too. Maybe I would consider getting the strawberry ones, but the prices are kind of high. They're $2 more than buying two separate Super Shock Shadows would cost you. I guess that's because it's with the Halo Top brand, which I've never heard of before. And for the green ones, one of them doesn't even look green at all, and the other one, I have minty Super Shock Shadows. So some of them could potentially be for me, but I really don't need them. I swear I should have set up this channel a lot earlier and you would have seen my progress because if this was beforehand, I would just be trying to buy everything. I really am a lot better about the things that I buy. I think about it a lot more and I buy a lot less. Next up is the Glam Light Paint Palette. This one definitely caught my eye. I love all the colors. I'm an artist, so I enjoy the shape of the palette. I think that's cute. However, similar issue with the Orange You Glad palette, there's only a few shimmers and the rest are mattes, and I do have these colors. So is it for me color-wise, yes, formula-wise, maybe not. Do I need it? No. I knew I forgot something. Obviously this is a different day in a different setting, but something else I wanted to talk about was the Hip Dot SpongeBob eyeshadow palette. I think this is so cute. I love Spongebob, or at least the older episodes, the newer episodes, eh. but anyway, 
I love the colors in here. There's a lot of mattes and shimmers. Although there's not a lot of depth. Like the darkest shade is a shimmer. There aren't really any dark mattes. The darkest matte you get is really that red shade and I definitely don't want a red crease with every look that I create. So is it for me? I would say mostly. But do I need it? I definitely don't need this and I'm trying to remind myself of that because it's really cute. I like the colors. I like Spongebob. But I don't need it. I have these colors already. And I'm bleeding. Okay. Cool. Whatever. <laughs> Next up is the Infinity Beauty Mariposa palette. Again, the shape is cute, definitely caught my eye because of the shape and the colors, but I have these colors, I don't need them. Is it for me? Possibly, but do I need it? No. Next is the JC Cosmetics Hashtag Besties eyeshadow palette. Never heard of this brand before. At first glance, like, I wanted this palette. All the colors, there's mattes and shimmers, but I feel like some of the groups of colors don't have much dimension to them or variety. Like take the oranges, for example, they're all around the same tone, which again goes back to what I said earlier about orange being a difficult color to have light orange and dark orange. I also think it's a little expensive for what it is. And the palettes that I have definitely take care of those colors. So is it for me? Maybe. Do I need it? No. Next is the Kiko Sicilian Notes collection. And of course, the parts that interest me most are the liquid eyeshadow duos and the eyeshadow palettes. The duos, I think, are cute. That might not be a bad idea. And twelve dollars for that? Eh, that's okay. Of course I would be interested in the purple or the green one. I do have, I think, one green liquid eyeshadow already. Do I have a purple liquid eyeshadow? Either way, are they for me? Maybe, but do I need them? Not really. As for the eyeshadow palettes, they're not really for me. A few of the colors, such as the peach, the gold, the magenta, they're attractive to me and they look pretty, especially in the little design that they created. But I think the price is too high for those. Plus, like I said, they're not really for me and I definitely don't need them. Next up is actually something that's not eyeshadow. It is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation. The L'Oreal True Match Foundation that I use here when I want something that's like an actual foundation and not just tinted moisturizer and powder. The more I use it, the more I realize that it's not really a great color match for me. I feel like maybe this foundation might be good for me because supposedly it doesn't feel so much like foundation even though it wears like one. It's affordable, it looks like the color range might work for me, and it has SPF in it. The only thing that is stopping me is again, especially with how sick I've been with my stomach lately, and like I've mentioned, certain products when absorbed through my skin or put on my lips and then swallowed, I get sick from. I know it sounds crazy, but it happens. So that is the only thing stopping me from going out and looking for this, if it's in stores yet, I'm not sure. But is it for me? Safe for the stomach issue possibility? Yes, I think it could be and I'd be willing to find out if I was feeling more comfortable with my stomach. And do I need it? Again, this would be like my only foundation. So I think that's okay. But as I mentioned, I don't know if I'm ready to try something like that quite yet. Also, the one Maybelline foundation, like real foundation, that I tried, my skin had a reaction to. So I don't know, it's definitely in the back of my mind though. Next is the, I'm gonna butcher this, Menagerie Cosmetics Violet Ink Micro Palette. Yo, when I saw this, this is the blue purple that I've been talking about on my channel. The problem, or problems, is that it looks like there's only one shimmer, and even though in the pans 
the shadows look like. They have variety. In some swatches I saw, it looked like they were all about the same shade. I've not tried this brand before. I don't know. It's in the back of my mind. I think I should watch some reviews on it and think about it. Is it for me? I'm not sure. The fact that it's only one shimmer turns me off a little and if they're all nearly the same color then I definitely don't want it or need it. As for needing it, uh, potentially. I don't have a lot of purple mattes and I feel like I'm always searching for good blue purples. So maybe. Next a couple items from Natasha Denona. First up is the Chroma Crystal Liquid Eyeshadow Mini Set in Disco and Space. These are cute. The black one, not so much. That's the one eyeshadow color that I fear. I think it looks really pretty, but for me to use that, I doubt I would use it much. And I think it would probably get easily out of hand and make a mess on me. The silver one I definitely like. I don't think I have any liquid silver shadows anymore. Just a super shock shadow that kind of looks liquid. I was actually surprised that the price is not bad. I think it's 25 for the two mini eyeshadows. I think that's pretty good, especially considering Natasha Denona. But because I probably won't use the black one, I'm gonna say it's not for me. And these aren't like items I'm dying to have, so I'm gonna say I don't need them either. The other item from Natasha Denona that I'm gonna talk about today is the Coral Palette. This is really tempting. Like I said, I like peach. This one at least is almost half and half with shimmers and mattes. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it's not very coral though. I feel like it's peach with red and a purple. I mean, I guess they go together, but I don't know. Is it for me? Maybe, but it's too expensive and I don't need it. I have colors like this. Next is the OPV Beauty Tropical Dreams eyeshadow palette. This one is so hard to say no to. It's got greens and golds and blues and a couple neutrals and oranges thrown in there. I think this looks really pretty. I've never tried this brand before. Maybe this would be the palette that I try, but I really don't need it. I have all of these colors. So is it for me? Yes. Do I need it? No. And the last items on my list of things to talk about today are in the Sugar Pill Endless Summer collection. There are single eyeshadows and loose eyeshadows. There's lip products too, but obviously I'm not getting any lip products. For these single eyeshadows, these colors definitely caught my eyes, but they are all matte and they're a little expensive and I don't need them. The lime green is definitely most attractive to me. Anyway, are they for me? Mm, not really. Color-wise, yes. Formula-wise, no. Do I need them? No, I have colors like this. As for the loose pigments, I think they're very pretty. Of course, the blues are calling to me, but same deal. I don't need them. I have colors like this, and honestly, I'm not really into loose eyeshadows, so eh. So, what are your thoughts? what's on your makeup of interest list. I feel like I've been so salty in these videos lately. <laughs> Just saying no to everything, tearing everything apart. That's it for today. I hope you have a good day no matter what it is you're doing. Bye. See you next time.